a final demo of uh, vpo src project so just go for a default and i'm going to select view in browser so we come first uh, one by one so first i'm going for a registration page so you get a page something like this and uh, you can see we have added uh, capture over here so I'm going to fill all the details. I'm going to give a genuine data. Okay, so after adding all this, I'm going to give add option. So if everything is fine, the user will be registered and uh, he will get a screen something like this where you can download your uh, captcha share one share will be maintained in the server and another share you can download it make a click on the download share so so this is the image this is share what you're going to get so this is the concept what we have designed for the anti phishing and uh, after this i'm going for a login option and in last previous two videos we discussed about uh, discussed about the admin panel also as well as the relation center panel and once again we'll go through this so i'm going to log in with the admin account so the username admin at gmail.com and the password one two three four five six seven eight nine so you can click on the login so you get a screen something like this and here you can see the request from the salesperson will be shown here these things we discussed in the previous windows and of course this masters and all so these options remain same uh, i have not done any changes in this uh, I'm, go I'm going to log out and uh, just now we created one uh, you know uh, the consumer account so uh, i'm going to try to log in with this account so so this is the email address of it and the password one two three four five six seven eight nine and make a click on this so you, be, you are getting a message something like your account have not been approved please try it right? so uh, even though the user registered with the website so you have to wait for the administrator approval so then only he can log into his account so let's see first we have to uh, log in to administrator account after that just go for a consumer and make a click on view all so you'll get a list of the consumer who have registered in our application and you can see this the record just now we have added and the approval status is in that is not much it's not yet approved and uh, you can see family details and all i'll explain you this and the very first thing there is an option edit delete that we discussed in previous window so as of now i'm going to approve this account so that the approval status will become yes so the uh, now uh, consumer can log in with the application so i'm going to log out from the administrator and uh, trying to log in inside uh, consumer.gmail.com okay and something like this and make a click on the login so so uh, this is the dashboard of the consumer so after the approval administrator approval only consumer can log in with this account so after login with this so consumer can add his family member details so in last session we discussed about ration card view all so you can view all the ration centers and all and uh, these are about the transaction details that i will discuss later and very first thing the family members option we have given so where he can add the family members uh, details so something like i'm going to click on add member so for example so something like my family mem member name and some other number and age and mobile number and relation something like this so add okay and i'm going to add one more So I've added two accounts 
and after that uh, when you click on the view all uh, you can view all the family members details and of course so after adding family members so the administrator have to verify and approve that family member details so then only he, they can get the ration for that particular you know account so for example so there is an option we have our created an option for request ration something like that make a click on this so you will get a list something like this and under the family member status you can see no uh, customers or means no members are available because uh, none of the accounts have been approved from the administrator so just i'm going to log out from this account and uh, i'm going to log in with the administrator account and inside this consumer so i'm going to select view all you'll get a list and uh, now uh, we are given option called family something like this and make a click on the view you can view all the family members which the user have been added so one you can edit or delete you can approve or block so if you approve only they will get the ration uh, for that particular account if they won't approve they won't get the ration things I am going to approve one record and one is not approved and one is approved right now you can see and another one is in this uh, we, we, we have uh, added one more option the item condition so if you are delivering some ration to some particular uh, you know person uh, we can apply some condition for example already I have added some conditions so you can go through this see there is an item called rice this is for the individual count we are going to supply for individual we are providing 8 kgs the condition is the greater than age is 10 so who all are age greater than 10 so they will get 8 kg and uh, the dal this is for a family the whole family per card uh, they are going to get uh, 5 kgs oil 2 kgs and there is no age limit there is no condition for this if you are creating some individual record if you want to give some individual uh, based on the individual record so then you can create some condition something like this you can go for item condition and inside this you are going to select some item already have added these things so just i will show you so individual and uh, whatever the quantity you wanted to give for the individual person and is there any condition or greater or less or whatever it is and the age group so it's uh, uh, something like see greater than equal to 18 so we'll provide 8 kg or something like that it comes so like this we have provide these two options for the item condition and you can view our condition details right so coming back to here so the consumer we have just now we have activated one record inside the consumer account so just log out from here and uh, I'm going to log in with the uh, uh, consumer account. So it's okay, and he can go for a view all. So here he can he can, he can see the status and all. See one account is approved and the second one is not yet approved. So now uh, he is going to approve for the ration. So make a click on the request ration so he get a screen something like this see one record is approved that's why he is getting one record over here if another one is also approved he will get that record in this list right so first thing is uh, you have to select the ration center which center he is going to draw the ration so i am going to select some uh, related to ration one something like this enter one and if there is any remarks you can enter some remarks so after entering this make a click on the get data so that uh, you will get the data something like this so for the individual is the price is two rupees and the quantity you are getting 16 so how it means for individual record we are providing eight kgs so the is the one record and another one is our own the login user so that eight plus eight so 16 quantity and the dal five kg per family oil is a 2 kg per 2 liter per family and the total rupees so and so and the total amount we are providing something like this so here we have applied anti-fishing concept so that you can see here 
so uh, we have to upload the share file what uh, is generated when 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 you are registered and uh, we are validating with the file name also you cannot change the file name and uh, we'll come back to here so i'm going to browse uh, very first one i'm going to select the wrong share okay so you just make a click on the verify option see it's an invalid share okay uh, now for the second time i will show uh, i'm going to select uh, valid share okay now make a click on the verify so if everything is fine so your captcha will be generated something like this and total amount will be we have to pay something it shows and here the payment gateway will be there you're going to select your bank and you're going to give some name some details number something like this so after this I'm going to click on pay and submit so that your request will be raised and of course you will get an email so just wait see your request has been raised and uh, present we are in a consumer home page so for this particular center we have approached and uh, we have paid so and so amount and the present status is and of course you will get a mail also see you'll get an email also so you have paid 182 rupees something like this towards the ration thank you and after this so next part is uh, the ration center they have to approve and they have to schedule the timings for you and just i'm going to log out from here and i'm going to log in with the ration center one so I'm going to log in so ration center the credentials are r center at gmail.com password image is here one two three four five six seven nine and just make a click on the login right see here you can see the pending request test request and this is all the accepted request and this is about the company so if uh, last last videos we discussed about these things right so next make a click on the view So you get all the information something like this the family head details family members details and the ration conditions what are the conditions and based on that what are the ration what we are delivering so quantity so and so we are providing and the total amount will be there and this is the stock of this ration center so much and uh, after uh, minus this uh, this thing so the available balance quantity will be so and so now first part is we have to schedule so when we schedule the OTP will be generated and OTP will be sent to the you know consumer so here I'm going to select some date and I'm going to select some time and make a click on the schedule so that the email will be sent right so you have updated and uh, make a click on the back button you we'll come back to the screen and make a click on the home so you can see so the payment status is success and the previously it was in a pending state now it has scheduled state and coming back to my email so you will get a uh, something like this the schedule date was so and so and the schedule time was so and so the OTP will be so and so something like this so it will be shown and uh, after that uh, so once again I'm going to make a click on the view now I have to deliver the ration to the consumer so assume uh, today is a so and so date and time so present I'm displaying the OTP here uh, because it's a student version so if it is get we are, we are get live so we can hide this option uh, due to the student uh, version so if there is any internet problem you won't get the mail nah? so that's why we are displaying the OTP over here but he just enter the OTP and make a click on the deliver so that this ration will be delivered to that particular consumer okay so these are all the options we have done and uh, you can see stock details and all last time, last time also we have uh, 
gone through these options okay like this these options and uh, if, if you want to activate another member of that uh, you know that particular person so let me show you if i activate what what it will happen see i'm going to log in with the admin account and login that you got the scheme and go for a consumer all and view so now i'm going to approve another account also. see another account is also approved so just log out and log in with the consumer account and you can view the family member details and of course you can add another member also if you want and now once again i'm going to see another person is added but you can send the detail you, you can check the ration what is going to get now because we have added one more member right see it's now 24. so the duration things will be added like this so this is about uh, the project demo thank you